What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We've got our final send off blog post from Scopal next for the end of the year. We're getting a bunch of different information on some blitzes coming here in the next few weeks. We will not be seeing another blog post until sometime in January. I believe the second week of January is when we'll finally get another blog post. So this is it for the year. This is all we've got coming in for us. So we know what our next couple of blitz weeks are going to look like. We've also got an update on an event here with Red Guardian, and we're also going to be seeing Blitzes here for Yelena here very soon as well. So it starts off from the top, greeting commanders, it has been a long year, but 2021 is nearly upon us. Thank God 2020 is almost over. Our studio will be using the upcoming holidays as a time to recharge our batteries, which means that this is the last blog post of the year, but that does not mean the fun will stop as we close out 2020 and prepare for 2021. We've got a Russian winter celebration heading your way, shiny milestones to hit, and more events than you can fit underneath a Douglas fir tree. Bundle up, comrades, and let's kick things off with one of the strikes upcoming new members. So what we've got here is a new upcoming event for Red Guardian. It's called the Red Winter Event. And with this, we will be able to get Red Guardian character shards through these deep freeze orbs. There's also red alert milestones. Basically, this is how we're going to get Red Guardian here at the beginning. So at least one of the characters will not be Blitz, which is nice to see. The Deep Freeze Orbs will be uh, will be awarded to you via the event milestones, and you can open them to earn gold, gear, and shards with the limited time season trait with Red Guardian at a higher drop rate. There's also the Red Alert Milestone, where enemies you can fight enemies in a Blitz and Arena with the season character trait on there. You can score points by winning in Blitz and competing in Arena, win or lose, just like any other milestone event. And you will earn your Red Guardian character shards, you'll earn the Deep Freeze, Orb Fragments, and more. Hopefully we're going to see some uh, Tier 15 uniques in there, maybe? We'll see. Then the Crimson Affair milestone, where you team up with your alliance in raids using seasoned characters to earn rewards, such as the Deep Freeze, Orb Fragments, Gear Pieces, and L3 training modules. And then the red winter milestone where you score points by opening deep freeze orbs to earn more red guardian character shards and other rewards again hopefully we see some tier 15 uniques in here somewhere now moving on we have mojo's winter special blitz scoring and they mentioned in last week's blog that the winter special event is coming and will include blitz scoring milestones as one way to earn rewards one of the things you'll notice is that the event goes live is that players will earn more points per battle by blitzing manually compared to using the new blitz sim feature Right now, with the World Warrior milestones, you're getting 9 points per Blitz Sim versus a manual battle on Blitz, which gives you 10. So it's probably going to be that same kind of point differential, which means that, honestly, it's not going to be a huge difference. It's going to add up if you do a lot of Blitz battling. But for the most part, I'm going to be okay with doing the Blitz Sim because it's going to take a whole lot less time. I'm not spending an hour or two on rotation. It's fantastic. So... Uh, probably gonna be doing the Blitz Sim here, unless it's like a drastic reduction in points. We'll see how that all goes. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see how, uh, we'll see what this points means. And they'll be applying the scoring update to future events as well. We'll be monitoring the play experience during these events and making adjustments as needed. So each event may have different point or reward disparities between Manual and Sim Blitz. Honestly, I hope they don't really reduce the points a lot because... We really, we really want to kind of reduce the low quality time and Sim Blitz has been great for that. So hopefully they keep this going. We'll see. But uh, fingers crossed that they don't really drastically reduce the point differential between Manual and Sim Blitz. We'll see how that all rolls out. And then Emma Frost Milestones are coming back. Go digging for diamonds in January during the final run of the Emma Frost Milestones. This will be your last chance to bolster the White Queen via the recurring milestones. Fight and battle, spend campaign energy and gold to hit milestones for Emma Frost character shards. And just like the previous iteration, the high roller milestone contains an additional milestone tier, and the five T4 ability materials have been placed with eight SBCs. Uh, honestly, I take the T4s there, but if you're someone who's been playing for a long time, you have an overabundance of T4s, those eight SBCs may be a little bit better, but you can't really go wrong either way. So uh, at least we are getting some additional tiers with the milestones. And they're coming, and that is coming here in the, near, in the near future, so be on the lookout. Then finally, we get the New Year's calendar. Hit the ground running in 2021 with a special calendar that not only help you ring in the new year, but help ring your enemy's bell as well. Log in every day for 14 days to reap rewards that include orange war orbs, thank goodness, gear credits, and raid gear orbs. Those orange war orbs are a big 
deal because that is where you get your mini uniques from. If you if you pop it up here and you go over here to your orbs, get out of here. You're coming down here to your orange war orbs. Hopefully it's orb two and maybe uh, maybe it's orb one. Either way, you can't lose here because these give you the mini uniques that you need for tiers 14 and 15. So we are going to be getting these orange gear war orbs, which is a big deal. Very happy to see that. We're going to be getting some mini uniques out of that. Awesome. Can't wait to see what we get with that. And then the arena store update. Swarm is coming to the arena store. Finally, we are going to be able to farm Blit or we're going to be able to farm Swarm. But the question now becomes, when do we get to start farming Beast? Because he is still unfarmable and he was released before Swarm. So hopefully we can get Beast here soon in some kind of store. Maybe he's in Blitz or maybe he's in Raid. We'll see what happens with Beast, but hopefully he can be farmed here as soon as well. So uh, we recently just got Corvus added to the arena store, what, two months ago? Now we've got Swarm coming in there too. So uh, keep an eye out for that and make sure you start saving up your arena credits if you want to get uh, if you want to get Swarm unlocked or go up to seven stars. Apologies if you guys are hearing a ringing in the, no in the background. Uh, my roommate's cat's running around. He likes to ring his little collar. Let's see, moving on to upcoming blitzes. The coming month will give you plenty of chances to add new characters. So here we go. We have three weeks of blitzes listed here. So the upcoming week, which is starting on Monday, we will be getting our first blitz will be Cable. And then on Thursday, you will be ending up getting the probability, ma probability master blitz, which will give you long shot. One of the first X Factor characters. If you guys haven't seen it yet, X Factor is stupidly powerful. Very strong characters there. Just two of them. We'll see if X Factor becomes the next meta team. But right now with just those two characters, it's looking very good for X Factor. So keep an eye out for the long shot blitz there. You were really going to want to start investing in that. And then say Sayonara to 2020 with blitzes the week of 1228, which starts with Rocket Raccoon and the West Weapons Expert Blitz. If you need to get Star-Lord, this is a blitz I highly recommend you guys go for. And then it ends with the second run of Longshot's Probability Master Blitz. So back-to-back -back blitzes for Longshot. Also, Rocket Raccoon, if you want to go for Star-Lord, you still need to get Star-Lord. Definitely recommended one. And then the week of the first week of 2021, we will be getting two blitzes here. First, we'll be getting the Cole Obsidian Dwarf Star Blitz. This has been one that's been highly requested. There was a big news that Cole Obsidian is now premium orb exclusive. Not very well received by the community, obviously. So you have this blitz for him. If you need to get Cole up and get your Black Order team running, this is one you absolutely have to run. Black Order, I mean, it's the it's the meta team right now. Black Order is the team to beat. So if you don't have Cole Obsidian, you got to start doing this blitz. And thankfully with Sim Blitz, that will be easier for most players to do out there. I'll be very interested to see what the scores are going to be for this blitz. And then after that, we will be seeing the first blitz for Yelena Belova. This is going to be the Red Room Blitz, which will feel, feature shards for the skill military blaster who fe he feeds off of stealth. Yelena is going to be the second character here, along with Red Guardian, that will help fill out this skill military team. If you guys haven't seen my video yet talking about the T4s, do check that one out. There's a lot of T4s that you have to invest into skill military to make it work. It's a big, big time investment. It's pretty scummy on Scopely's part what they're doing with the T4s for this team. Highly recommend you guys check it out. There'll be the link up in the corner for you guys to look at that one too. But yeah, beware if you're going for the skill military team, you make sure you need to stock up on T4s first. And yeah, so uh, yeah, Yelena will be, first, will be coming here at the uh, end of the first week of January, and then we will likely see her second blitz the week after, and that'll be the one that features red stars for her as well. Returning legendary events. Drum roll, we are getting the Doc Ock legendary finally returning here very soon. This is one that you're definitely going to want to have. Doc Ogg is a great war character. Very good for war defense and war offense. A solid counter to Black Order and offense. And just one of the best defensive teams now in Alliance War. You will need X-Force to get him. And you need them all at least 5 star. And the big problem with that is that Domino is Blitz Orb exclusive. So hopefully you guys are having good luck with getting her out of the Blitz Orbs. Negasonic is in the Do More campaign somewhere at X-23 is Alliance War Store exclusive as well. Same with Minerva, who just got moved there when Premium, when Cold City went to the Premium Orbs. They took Minerva out, threw her into the Alliance War Store. So if you're looking for Minerva Orbs, or if you're looking for Minerva Shards now, make sure you check out that Alliance Store. And then we also have Shuri coming as well, which you'll need Spider-Verse characters for. Your Symbiotes will be more than enough to get Shuri for sure. 
but also if you're working on your Sinister Six to get them geared up to go for Dr. Octopus, you're going to be able to use them as well for Shuri. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone here, get your Sinister Six geared up and ready to go for when you get unlocked Dr. Octopus, and you can also use them to unlock Shuri if you have not done that yet. Then finally, we get to some bonus and flash events. Double your character shard rewards and stock up on valuable resources with some upcoming bonus and flash events. There is the Calling All Agents event, which is going to be rewarding double shard, double drops for, for your shield characters in the campaign nodes. And then aim characters will also get some double drops as well during the Bad Science event. If you don't have your shield geared up, if you don't have your aim geared up or start up, this will be something you want to take advantage of. And then we'll also be getting the XP throttle event again as well, which is double XP for your spending your energy in campaigns. Very well received the first couple of times that it came out. Really helped people level up pretty quickly. And then prepare for Shuri and the Princess and the Symbiote event, which is the legendary event to unlock Shuri, where you will get double drops of Spider-Verse shards. And then bolster your Wakanda team with Wakanda Nation before using them in the Chaos Theory, which is what you use for your Elite Store promotion credits or your red stars in that store. And then also we have the hand team coming back with Need a Hand, where you earn your pals of Catalyst and the Relic Hunt event. And then also we're gonna be having Payday drop tonight, I believe, or tomorrow, which will give you bonus gold in that event. I believe it actually drops tonight. I gotta check that out, I believe, because I was just looking at it. Yeah, so it drops here in like 30 minutes. So make sure you guys check that out as well. Get that gold here. Very helpful to get that gold, especially with leveling up right now. Gold's a bit of a bit of a commodity these days in Marvel Strike Force. So make sure you complete that payday event as well. But yeah, guys, that's uh there's a lot in this blog post. The one thing that's not here is orb opening events. And it looks like we are still not getting anything. Uh so I mean at this point, if you want to hoard your orbs, by all means go ahead. But I think uh I think that it may still be a while before we get an orb opening event, if we get one at all. So open your orbs at your own risk, but if you are getting impatient and you want to go ahead and open them now, I don't see any problem with that. So yeah, lots of stuff in here. Red Guardian coming here soon, a special event. Yelena coming with a blitz. Longshot's coming with her blitz, uh, with his blitz as well. Shatterstar will be in the campaign event, which also drops tonight. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for those events and get those characters geared up and start up in their blitzes and their campaign events, everything. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Lots to break down here, and this will be the last one we will see for a few weeks. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure that like button, share and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.